Alright, what is up guys? So I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a quick little review on the new Lightning 230 pin adapter. Now as we all know, Apple's latest iPhone 5, iPod Touch, iPod Nanos, and future iPad Mini and devices like that have or will in the future have the new Lightning port instead of the old 30 pin connector. Therefore you can't use all your 30 pin cables to charge and sync your devices but with the new lightning to 30 pin adapter it actually converts your old 30 pin cable to a lightning cable one thing I do like about this adapter is the ability to use it just as your normal lightning cable because it actually fits on devices that have cases and also it is great because it gives you a tad bit of an extension to your cable so you have more length in the cables when using it now the actual cable in the lightning to 30 pin adapter is actually pretty thick and seems very durable compared to just your regular lightning and 30 pin cables as you see here so you actually won't have to worry about it messing up from the various amount of use you put it through also this adapter is very useful for many other things such as docking stations like radios and all that and also your car stereo plugs since most likely they're going to have the 30 pin connector simply plug this in and you're good to go now apple does manufacture two different lightning to 30 pin adapters one being this one with the cable extension and another with no cable it is simply just a 30 pin adapter attached to the lightning cable anyways this adapter will run you at forty dollars and the other lightning to 30 pin adapter with no cable will run you ten dollars cheaper for thirty dollars but anyways guys let me know what your thoughts about it are in the comments down below Will you be picking up one of these adapters soon for your device? And as always, hit that like button to show me that you like this video. Helps me out a lot. And it shows me that you like more of these type of videos. Also, if you'd like me to review the cheaper Lightning to 30 pin adapter, the $30 one with no cable, go ahead and hit that like button as well to show me that you want that video. And if you want to go ahead and follow me on Twitter and or on Facebook, I'm always on those updating different tech news and all that. You can follow me on those. The links will be down in the description below. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for videos like this and so you'll be notified when I do come out with my latest videos. Anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you all on the next one. Alright, peace!